Okay, here's the thoroughfare outside of China Agricultural University. Their parking lot. Leaving this afternoon, so I thought I'd get out and take a, take a few pictures, a few videos. In the morning, this would be choked with uh, scooters and bicycles and all sorts of unusual wheel transportation. <laughs> Some of the some of the bicycles, the three-wheel bicycles that they haul stuff with, is quite amazing, and they mound the they mound their load up quite high. As I mentioned, campus is right next to the hotel. In fact, I think the hotel is a, owned by the university. It's my least favorite place to stay. Things don't necessarily work very well. I got a good-sized room at least. Um, must be in between classes. Of course, it seems like. Students, there's a lot of students moving around no matter when it is, and that's true in general here. People everywhere all the time. You can see the Olympic logo here on this campus building, and I think I was told that they had uh, some of the Olympics, in particular the Paralympics here, held here in this, in this building and maybe other places on campus, but certainly this one. Lots of ginkgo trees here, obviously. It's a Chinese tree. <clears throat> well, that's not ginkgos here. Oh, there's one. And I'm standing under one here, too. If it wasn't for the snow they had, they would have probably been a little bit prettier. Here's another view of that building. I didn't get the statue in the previous scene. These tall buildings are apartments, dorms. All students, apparently, graduate and undergraduate, live on campus in such high-rise dorms, apartments. Um, apparently, that's part of what they do. The university is expected to provide housing for all the students, so very few or no students stay off campus, per se, as in the U.S. There's another apartment building there. This is the College of Food Science and Nutritional Engineering. I met a faculty member over here the other day. They have a school of enology, which is winemaking, and they have a beautiful, beautiful wine, <laughs> wine cellar. And we went down there and tasted a really nice Carmenere uh, that they make. They make quite a bit of wine here. They gave me a bottle of that to take home, so I'm hoping it, hoping it survives the trip. It's a really nice bottle of wine and uh, beautiful cellar. <laughs> Just like any wine cellar you expect to see. Quite large, too. So I'll have to, if I come back, I'll bring them a, a bottle to add to their collection. Mostly they have their own wines, but they do have a few... Uh, bottles on display. I'm showing you this because I found this sort of interesting on campus. All the doors, even though it's cold here in the 40s, all the doors are open. You can see the doors open on the other side. And uh, the, only, the halls are cold. The rooms are heated and they're very warm. <laughs> and they'll, sometimes they'll have the plastic curtains, uh, split curtains that you can sort of walk through. But I thought that was really odd that they just that they left the doors open. Um, you can, if I can get close enough, you can see on that building the doors open as well. There's a wooden door there that's open. Very unusual.